How was your weekend? It was amazing. I went to an amazing park. Interesting. Which park? Yellowstone National Park. It's an amazing place. Mm, what did you do there? I went to the amazing hiking tour. The weather was amazing. The nature was amazing. I met amazing people there. I mean, everything was amazing. Does she know any other words than amazing? Hello everyone, my name is Kate and this is English Lessons with Kate channel. The reason why many people think that their English is not good enough is because they use simple words all the time. The best way to improve your vocabulary is to learn more alternatives to simple basic words. And that is what we are going to do in this lesson. Now let's start with the first overused word. Amazing. We use this word almost every day. What else can we use instead of the word amazing? Number one, incredible. This means extremely good. You can use it to describe a vacation or a trip. For instance, the trip was incredible. You can use this word to talk about a movie. This movie is incredible. When you want to say that the food is very good and tasty, you can use the word incredible. For example, the cake tastes incredible. Another alternative to the word amazing is breathtaking, which means extremely exciting, beautiful or surprising. We can describe an amazing landscape with the word breathtaking. For example, the view from the top of the mountain is breathtaking. We can also use this word to talk about physical beauty, like she has breathtaking eyes. We can describe our experiences. For example, skydiving for the first time was a breathtaking experience. The next alternative is dazzling, which means extremely attractive or exciting. We can use dazzling to talk about clothes. For example, she looked dazzling in that dress. We can also describe nature and scenery using this word. For example, the colors of the autumn leaves were absolutely dazzling. Instead of saying an amazing performance, you can say a dazzling performance. An actor gave a dazzling performance. Another alternative to the word amazing is impressive. If an object is impressive, that means you admire it, usually because it's special, important or very large. For example, she has an impressive voice. Your grades are very impressive. Or his new car looks impressive. Another great word you can use instead of amazing is stunning. What a stunning song. What a stunning design. What a stunning dress. What a stunning masterpiece. Another great alternative to the word amazing is spectacular, which means very exciting to look at. We can use spectacular to describe scenery and nature. For example, what a spectacular sunset or the view from our hotel room is spectacular. How was your weekend? It was incredible. I went to Yellowstone National Park. Interesting. What did you do there? We went to a breathtaking hiking tour. The views from the mountains were spectacular. You took a lot of stunning pictures, didn't you? I did. Wanna check them out? Wow, the lake is really impressive. Now let's talk about another overused adjective, which is important. What other adjective can we use instead of important? One of the best alternatives to the word important is significant. Significant, which means very important. For example, I'm working on a significant project. Another synonym of the word important is 
primary, which means main. For example, my primary goal is to help you learn English. The primary reason you came to this channel is to learn. Another alternative is essential. If something is essential, that means a basic thing that you cannot live without. Learning English is essential for me. Regular exercise is essential for good health. Another great adjective you can use instead of important is fundamental, which means more important than anything else. It's a formal word and you can use it in your writing. For example, trust is fundamental for teamwork. Math is a fundamental subject. Instead of saying important, you can also say major. Major means more important, bigger, or more serious than others of the same type. For example, he made a major decision. This is a major problem. The city had a major event. Another adjective which is overused is funny. I'm sure you say this one a lot. One of the alternatives to this word is playful. Playful means funny and not serious, full of high spirits. We use it to describe people's mood. For example, her tone was playful. When you talk about your attitude, you can use playful. I have a playful approach to life, always finding reasons to laugh. We can also use playful to talk about animals or pets. For example, a playful kitten chased the ball. Another option is hilarious, which means extremely funny and causing a lot of laughter. We can use hilarious to describe a person or their behavior, for example. He's always telling hilarious jokes. Talking about content like movies, books, or shows, we can say hilarious instead of funny. That movie was absolutely hilarious. Another great option is amusing. The book was amusing. This story is amusing. I heard an amusing joke today. The cartoon was amusing. Another synonym of the word funny is humorous, which means very funny and causing laughter. I always enjoy humorous movies. That was a humorous comment. The situation was really humorous. Another alternative, which I'm sure you've heard, is entertaining, which means funny and enjoyable. We can use entertaining to talk about people. For example, she's an entertaining speaker. We can also use it for describing experiences. The boat ride was entertaining. We also use the word entertaining to talk about movies, shows, books, stories, events, or content. For example, I found an entertaining YouTube channel for learning English. An interesting but a bit negative alternative to the word funny is laughable. Laughable means something is so silly that it makes you want to laugh, but not always in a kind way. For example, he tried to wear socks on his hands. That's laughable. So we can say, the movie was laughable, his idea was laughable. But remember that laughable means funny but silly or ridiculous and not worth taking seriously. Now let's practice what we've learned. Please write a comment below this video. Write three examples using some of the adjectives we've learned today and I'll check them out. But please, always pay attention to the context. Words are like tools in a toolbox. Just like you wouldn't use a hammer to paint a picture, you don't use every word for every situation. So, we choose the adjective based on what we want to say and where we are saying it. 
thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I'll see you next time. If you like my content, you can send me super things. I would really appreciate it.